it's pretty obvious to anyone that has programmed before that it's a very complicated and mentally consuming thing to do. So much so that it can oftentimes become fairly draining, and in those instances it's hard to stay productive. So today I'd like to share three tips that I use personally to avoid those situations and stay more productive in the long run. But before I get to that, I would like to quickly thank this video's sponsor. If you're tired of using boring old Zoom, you should take a look at Tilda. Tilda lets you create meetings with useful collaborative tools to make your meetings more engaging and more fun. It's built by creative people and with features that have creative people in mind. Give it a try with the link in the description below. It's free and doesn't even require an account. Okay, so I'm not talking about ways to become a complete robot or machine that is able to code for 16 hours a day non-stop every day. I'm more talking about how you can make the reasonable amount of hours you work each day feel less draining and in doing so making it so that your time is more efficiently spent and you can achieve more. Number one, something I actually can't work without doing anymore, change your physical work settings as much as possible throughout the day as you feel like you're getting fatigued or as you lose focus. If you're lucky enough to work from a laptop that can mean getting up from your desk and going to do a bit of work from a conference room or if you're at home from the couch for a little bit. I live in a pretty small apartment so I personally have a standing desk which allows me to reach that same type of effect. When I start losing focus I'll switch from either standing to sitting or vice versa. As simple as that may sound this really seems to hit some sort of reset button in my brain which allows me to regain focus and keep working on what I'm doing. Number two, break down your tasks as much as possible. One of the big factors for me that results in mental fatigue is that feeling of being stuck on a really complicated task and feeling like no progress is being made. The thing is in most cases that happens on tasks which I don't break down nearly enough. That has two effects. First, it makes it so the complete tasks feel like a really big and complicated endeavor which is more tiring to solve. But second, it also makes it so you don't realize the progress that's being made as you work through it. By breaking down your bigger tasks, you'll instead be able to check off every milestone you reach however small they might be. It'll keep you more motivated to reach those milestones and make sure you realize how much progress you've actually been making. That overwhelming feeling of a big and daunting task won't be as much of an issue and will allow you to stay more productive. Number three, don't be scared to take breaks. Whether it's completely taking a break from coding or taking a break from a specific task, once you feel like you've hit a wall. I'm obviously not saying to stop every time you have to figure out a problem, but if you've run into something you're having trouble with, you've given it a fair shot, done a bit of research or tried a couple things, and now you feel like you're going around in circles. The absolute best thing you can do is actually to take a break. I'm sure I'm not the only developer out there that has had exactly that feeling, but the most complicated issues I end up banging my head against for hours suddenly become a lot more clear and simple after just a good night of sleep. There's something magical that seems to happen when you take that slightly longer break and let things settle down a little bit. On top of just making it so our perspective is a bit more fresh when we come back to it, I'm sure our brains also unconsciously keep working on these problems which make them feel simpler when we come back to them. Accepting to take a break when you're starting to get fatigued will overall in my opinion just make you a lot more productive as you won't be wasting your time trying to figure out something that just need a slightly different perspective which you can easily get by just putting a problem aside for a little bit and taking a break all right i hope this was helpful if you enjoyed this video consider liking it and hitting the subscribe button i'll see you all in the next video and until then take care